All right, Padres pregame thoughts, Padres and the Giants. Game two of this series. We got, what, five games left in this Padres season. Manny Machado, he is not in the lineup tonight. It's a night that the Padres could be mathematically eliminated, I believe, from a postseason spot. If I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments, but I believe the Padres can be eliminated if they lose tonight because then they'll have five games left. And at worst, they'll be, I think, five and a half games back of a playoff spot. So obviously they wouldn't be able to make it there. Um, you know, Manny, we know he's not playing every day. Like that's just, that's just what it is. The health of his elbow is not good. Um, but he is trying to continue to get through this season, continue to play while they're mathematically alive, uh, as long as his body can do it. So obviously tonight, I guess his body can't do it. That's why he's not in the lineup. Um, so we'll get to see more of the younger guys getting more chances and Matthew Batten, Eggie Rosario. Part of it's because of the Jake Cronenworth injury, but then obviously part of this is because of Manny Machado only DHing. We're going to continue to get to see those guys play. Uh, Josh Hader, as for him, I had a whole lot of thoughts on Josh Hader uh, on the show earlier today. So if you missed that, uh, I know a, a clip is going to be going up on YouTube uh, of the kind of rant that I went on uh, about Josh Hader. You can go get that, uh, watch that on YouTube or go watch the full uh, replay of the live show that I did earlier this morning, or you can go listen to it on the podcast platforms. But a lot of thoughts there on Josh Hader, um, that obviously the comments that he said last night. And for me, I'm at the point where I don't want to see Josh Hader the rest of this season pitch. He clearly doesn't want to pitch badly enough, or else he would, you know, make it known to the Padres that he's willing to go pitch four outs. So, I mean, if the season's over and you're admitting to the media like yeah we're not going to make the postseason essentially is what he was saying yesterday and that's just where we're at that's just where the situation's at and all this stuff and blaming the media still then you know you guys always you know you want me to do everything all that like okay if you want to have that perspective then just don't pitch the rest of the season then I don't want to see him pitch and this is this isn't going to be like anything new to Josh Hader if he doesn't pitch the rest of the year because he's used to pitching once a week anyway. So big deal, right? Uh, Kyle Harrison, he's on the mound for the San Francisco Giants today. And Seth Lugo, we'll see if this is going to be his last start as a Padre, because I believe the next time around, it would be for next Monday, because Snell would be Sunday. Uh, so yeah, this could be Seth Lugo's final start as a Padre. End of the season, there's the option. He's not going to take that player option, I, I wouldn't think. Padres can bring him back in free agency, but... They're going to have to give him more money than, I think, $7.5 million on a one-year deal, which is what the player option would be. Um, so, you know, Lugo, last couple outings has been good. I think mostly this season. He, sure, he's bad, had some bad outings, but for the most part this season, I think he's been pretty good. Um, so, yeah, right now I would be fine with having Seth Lugo come back. I guess it's just a matter of what's the price, how much is it going to cost. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there's a limit for the Padres front office for ownership, how much they're willing to give Seth Lugo. So, that's obviously something to look forward to or something to look for in the off offseason uh, when that comes around. But yeah, Seth Lugo tonight on the mound. We'll see if the Padres can get a quality start out of him. And then if they can get some guys that actually want to pitch, have them come in after Seth Lugo uh, out of the bullpen. My underdog fantasy pick tonight, Juan Soto higher on half a walk. He walks all the time, obviously. Rookie on the mound. I know Kyle Harrison is good, but I'll just go with higher on half a walk there for Juan Soto. Post-game reaction coming up after the game.